Hey Scorpio, the overall energy and love for you and the person on your mind is not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call or a person, boundaries and still angry, wedding rings, union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love and everlasting promise. And the golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, and love bombing. So for some of you, it looks like you could be in a relationship with someone, um, but you have your eyes on someone else, someone very interesting, very fun and outgoing. Others of you could be single and dealing with someone that is in another connection as well. And it looks interesting, so let's get right into it. In the past, we had the Ten of Wands, the Moon, the Magician, and the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you could be dealing with a Cancer, an Aries, a Gemini, Capricorn, possible Sag. It looks like you are feeling weighed down and burdened by a connection here that feels like you are trying to keep together. And it's almost kind of given this vibe of, I want it to at least look and appear better than it actually is. I want it to look like it's easier than it actually is. I want this connection to look more fun than it actually is. But it's weighing on you a ton. And you could also be feeling like you're putting in all of the effort toward this connection with this person that you're dealing with. You could feel like there's a lot of responsibilities between the two of you and that you are carrying most of the weight. And it's always interesting going from situations like that to your current energy, whereas there is somebody here now with this Queen of Wands who is here and present in your life. They, this person could be a friend of yours, but this person is bringing life to your life. This person is, is energetic and lively. They are creative and fun and passionate and outgoing. They are showing you the more fun, creative side of life. So in the current energy, you have the Queen of Wands, Three of Cups, Page of Wands, and Four of Pentacles. This is a person you want to hold on to. This is a person you want to keep around especially keep closest to you in your inner circle. Like I said, this could be a friend. It's someone you're having fun with, having good times with. I feel like this is somebody outside of your relationship for the ones you in a relationship because it does feel like when this person comes in, there is now three people involved. So I feel like this person is adding to your connection. Some of you, they could be bringing their own third party for the ones of you that are single, but it does look like one of you is committed especially when you have the wedding rings card coming out here it does look like somebody is committed here i see you wanting to explore things with this new person getting to know them some of you this could be someone you've already known and reconnecting with them and getting to know them all over again but definitely wanting to keep them around because they are bringing some type of excitement towards you other than the usual like heavy work and burden that you have been feeling either in your singlehood or in your current relationship how you feel about the person on your mind is the page of cups the emperor two of one the queen of cups you feel somebody here is sensitive kind of childlike and innocent there's an innocent type of vibe that I'm getting here with how you feel about a particular person in your life. This person could be an Aries or a Pisces. I'm getting strong Aries and Pisces energy. You feel this person chooses to close off or chooses to be like not cold but grounded and stable in their emotions and not be so open to expressing them but you also see that soft side of them as well. This could also be your feelings for this new person here. You could be crushing on someone. You could be going from feeling like it might just be a crush to maybe this could be something serious. You could be planning something with this new crush of yours. You could be planning to commit to this crush, even for the ones of you that are in a relationship. The two of ones here feels like you're going from one path to another. It could be, could be choosing right now. You see this person as a dreamer, a innocent, playful being, which again, like I mentioned before, is bringing you a lot of life and energy in excitement into your current life. How this person feels about you is the Seven of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles reversed, Ten of Cups, and Knight of Swords. There is somebody here who is very hesitant to continue something further with you. I do see a lot of worry and a lot of reflecting on the two of you's connection. If this is the new person, this Queen of Wands here, gender doesn't matter for this Queen of Wands, by the way. This Queen of Wands can be male or female. If this is this new person, this person could be concerned if you have a relationship with someone else, whether they want to pursue this further with you or not because of that. Some of you is vice versa. Some of you could be single and they are already committed to someone and they're kind of hesitant to continue anything further with you because they're in another situation. But at the same time, they are kind of focused more so on connecting with you. They do feel like they want to still keep investing into this with you, but at the same time, they also feel like things are not going anywhere between you and this person. Some of you, this could be the person you're already connected to for the ones you in a relationship. 
this person could feel some worry because of the history that the two of you have together. This person could maybe have a whiff of this new person here and maybe kind of hesitant on continuing anything further because you have another person that is entertaining you right now. They also could feel like you might not be as generous or as giving to this connection with them as much anymore as well. That could be another reason why this person is as hesitant as they are and kind of worried about progressing further. Your advice is the three of pentacles, the temperance, the devil, and the world reverse. I feel like you're being told to collaborate with someone and work together as a team to build something with them. This could genuinely be with a current person you're already dealing with for the ones you already in a relationship or to build something strong with this new person here. You're also being told to fix a toxic pattern that could be repeating in your life. I wanna pull one more card for this Three of Pentacles because I wanna see who they're wanting you to reconnect with or rebuild with or repair things with. Tell me about that Three of Pentacles. Yeah, the Ten of Swords Reverse, the Lovers, the Hierophant, and the Six of Pentacles. It does feel like you're being told to repair something with someone that you are already with and not to basically leave them for a third party. For the ones of you that are single and dealing with someone else that is in a commitment, I feel like some of you are being told to keep your options open because this person is already in a marriage or in a long-term relationship. But I highly feel like you're being advised to not leave your current relationship if you already are in one. Because the chances of the two of you being able to successfully repair things together is extremely high. This person's near future actions toward you is the Queen of Cups, the Star, the Nine of Pentacles, and King of Swords. Their near future actions towards you is actually very internal. They're not going to make any type of outward action toward you. I see this person keeping hope alive and trying to think clearly and as positively as possible and hope for an abundant outcome with you and them. They're trying not to worry, they're trying not to get too caught up in their emotions. This person is very emotionally stable, very mentally stable. They're only thinking about the facts, they're not worried about anything that they can't confirm. They're being honest, they're being faithful, they're being loving, they're nurturing this relationship for the two of you. I don't see them expressing much emotion to you, good or bad, but I do see this person wanting to keep what they have with you. Then your outcome is the Three of Swords, Nine of Cups Reverse, the Sun, and Ace of Cups. So I do see a loss here for you. I do feel like this is actually the third party that may be exiting or that you may be leaving behind. I see you being unhappy with this going on, but I do see the ending of three people being involved in one situation. Some of you could also be seeing 333 a lot. That is the confirmation for this read. I do see a new happy beginning in love for you. It just feels like you lose one to gain another. Others of you will be reversed. You may be leaving the person you're with and having a new beginning with the new person, but I do see the ending of a third party situation. Let's get some more clarity on this Three of Swords, please. You have the Page of Swords and Eight of Swords. I see a lot of someone being confused, looking for answers, feeling stuck. That could easily be this new person or the person you're currently with. But I see somebody needing answers and that actually leads to someone maybe walking away or letting something go. Why the Nine of Cups reverse? You have the Empress for the Nine of Cups reverse. I feel like you're coming up unhappy and unsatisfied because something may not have gone your way. And obviously because you lost something in the end here. It feels like because you realize someone's worth or because you have to choose your own to either make something right or to allow someone else to make something right. It feels like you will be unhappy or unsatisfied of this loss that you end up um, having to endure in the future because you wanted what you had to actually grow and be abundant. So I see you being unsatisfied and unhappy that this is going on. I do see sadness. Some of you, there may be a bit of a depression here, but I definitely see you coming out of it quickly and starting to get more optimistic because there is a new beginning in love or a renewal of love after everything gets settled. What additional messages do you have for Scorpio? You have codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment and love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. As I was saying, with this Nine of Cups and the Empress, it did feel like Maybe you have to put yourself first and let somebody or something go. If somebody came in and maybe had their own situation going on, maybe you had to let that go. Others of you, someone else had to love themselves first and had to let you go. 
I do see codependency issues could have been affecting the entire situation. I feel like it's this Queen of Cups that could be kind of codependent. This person that is holding on and keeping faith and hoping for the best outcome possible. This could po possibly be the one that's codependent. Could be you. But I do see a connection deepening. I see more emotional engagement for you and someone here. It feels like renewal or a new love that ends up happening after the separation between you and another person and could even lead to engagement and or marriage. Thank you guys for watching. If it resonates, click the like button and click here for more videos like this one. Bye.